It's Dan and welcome back to another build tutorial. Today we'll be looking at the cosy winter cabin. Um, thank you all to your votes previously on the last community post, really appreciate it. And um, thank you all again as well for your continued uh, support, positivity, uh, it's so amazing. Thank you so, so much. Um, again, got loads of good uh, responses to the last large snow base build which we did a couple of days ago. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, this build location is in the winter biome in the wilderness area, same as the last one. Um, the location for that 27.9, 16.5, you can see it here on the map and not too far away from the last house. Again, good resources around here, uh, lots of wood, stone, uh, metal on the mountains, water's not too far away. For this build we'll be using a stone uh, water reservoir to collect water. Um, it's a bit far from any kind of water source really to sort of daisy chain stuff um, efficiently. You can definitely still do it, of course. Um, but it's just I think in this case it's because it's so far away from water It's generally a bit better just to collect the rainwater and um, it does rain quite a bit on the island So it's not too difficult to get rain uh, Or to get water in your reservoir, sorry um, The location for this obviously you can see here So you've got sort of this flat spot just at the base of um, the mountain near the blue obelisk now On your screen now you'll be able to see the building list for this build Okay, so to start with on this build, you want to grab your stone foundations and just place them two by one like so. And then either side of that, triangle stone foundations, just three either side. So you get sort of this uh, stretched out hexagon shape. Well, not hexagon, octagon shape. <laughs> uh, next we'll go with the walls. So wooden walls around this. It's all the full walls around the back. Just placed one round there. Here it is. So that's how they look. And then at the front, switch to your wooden short doorway first. That goes at the front like that. And then two normal window walls either side like that. Next place two walls above the door and the rear wall, like that. And then switch to your sloped walls and place them either side. Like so. Now across the top, you'll want to do two quarter ceilings like this at both ends and then grab your wooden ceilings and attach those to the walls as well so they'll be overlapping with the quarter walls like that helps if you aim for the wall below it like so Next we'll go ahead and get our ladders placed at the front of the builds. Um, these aren't functional, purely aesthetical. Um, and they just go on the front like that. 
Same again on the back, but twice, so from the top to the bottom. Now we'll start with our roof. So for this, we're going to place quarter walls along the top. Doesn't matter which way you snap these, by the way. You can either have, you know, you can have uh, the dark, the darker wood side showing this side if you want. Doesn't matter. Uh, grab your sloped walls again, and you want to snap them to the front like this, similar to how we did it on the large uh, snow base in the last video. Now grab your wooden roofs. And you're going to snap them to the outermost quarter wall, as we've done on a previous video. Is that where you get the overhang on the front? And then continue along the top, like that. And then the bottom layer as well. Underneath. Sometimes getting a snap point can be a bit of a challenge. There we go. We'll get it eventually. There we go. And then same on the other side as well. Like so. And that gives you a nice A-frame as well, almost an A-frame house. We do have a gap on the top, but once we put the rest of the beams in, you won't notice that too much. And even with those sides open previously with the roof on, it does nicely seal that gap. Which works well. And just finishing with the roof, we'll go back to our quarter ceilings, quarter wall, sorry. And switch to railings. Go ahead and flip that. Get the right snap point and just put them along the top like that. Now then get your stone pillars. You're going to place uh, two at the front here, either side of the door. Like so. And we'll go to the back as well. It's the same thing on the back. Make sure they're aligned uh, so they're in line with the foundation at the back here. Place one underneath each of those. Same again on the front. If you can, of course, depending on where you're building it, it might be a bit too flat to do that. It's not a problem. Like this one here, not an issue. I would include the extra pillar in the list, of course, just to make sure that you can you can do that depending on where you're building it. Now switch to the wooden pillars, and we'll go ahead and put them on the sides here. And these ones are in parallel with this wall on the side. Come to the other side, do the same thing. Now on top of these stone pillars, you want to attach wooden pillars on top, like that. And we'll come to the front. It's going to be the same thing here as well. Now we'll go back to your stone pillars. And now with the wooden pillars in place, we can now place, place the stone ones underneath. Like so. Like that. Now we're going to switch to the stone beams and go around the perimeter of this lower layer here. This gives a nice uh, sort of partition between the wood and the stone foundation. You're going to leave the front door clear. And grab your stone, sorry, your wood pillars. Switch them to beams. And we'll go around the top of the walls with these. Come underneath the roof to get this one. And we'll just go all the way around the, the bottom layer here. Again, come underneath the roof to grab that one. There is another layer, I believe, that you can end up snapping it and it will show much more. So make sure you go underneath to get that snap point. And that's how we should be looking now. 
I'm going to put one more beam up here. Again, as I was saying earlier, that nicely seals up a bit more that opening on top. And you can do the same thing on the back as well. Like so. Well, that's actually the majority now of the outside done on this build. Coming to this side, this is where the water tank is going to go. You want to grab your wooden ceiling. Come underneath here to aim for this wall. And then you'll get that snap point like that on top. If you don't get that straight away, just press Q to cycle through them. Then pick up your quarter walls. Make sure you've got the quarter wall variant chosen. Snap that underneath like that. Next, get your wooden pillars. And then using those quarter walls, you can then get to the lower snap point here like that. Same again on this side. And bring them down to the ground. Next, you want to go back to your quarter walls. You will now get a snap point off of the pillar. And you can flip it like that. And using the ceiling as a snap point, keeping that pillar inverted, bring it down so it's underneath. Like that. Next, grab your rope ladder. That attaches to the edge of the ceiling like so. And then on top here, you can go ahead and place your stone water reservoir like that and that's just a nice platform there to hold the water tower or to hold the water reservoir sorry but it acts sort of like a small water tower um i just feel that gives a nice sort of structural element to the outside of the house adds a bit of interest um and you also you know there's there's, there's nice clearance above it for some water catchment too it's not you know it's not concealed anywhere underneath um and these pillars add some nice structural support to that makes it feel like it's being really you know it's being held there properly on the side of the house and not just you know sitting on the roof next we'll go to the doors it's reinforced stone doors for this so as the front door goes on like that uh, with the stone uh, reinforced windows I snap it once so you get the latch on the bottom that way they open upwards and the last part of the outside of this build is going to be the porch so grab your wooden quarter ceilings, attach two of those above the door like that. You want to cycle through to your wooden ladders. Look for the snap point on the quarter ceiling and then press Q to get the lower snap point there so it comes down the side like so. Same again here. And that's the exterior then of the cosy cabin done. And that's where we should be at. And next we'll go inside and do the interior and get rid of some of these bushes on the outside. And depending on when you build this, if you build it say in some in a grassy spot, you know you don't want it in the snow biome, um, you may find that having a foundation on the front here as well will be useful um, just to prevent any long grass from showing through and sort of blocking the front door. Um, so that might be an option you want to consider if you're building it in somewhere where there's a lot of long grass. So we're heading inside, we'll now work on the upper level. Well, we'll do those, go and open the windows up and the front door just so we get a bit more light in here. So we're using quarter ceilings. I'm going to attach those to those, the back wall first. Come out one more layer so you have a two by two, like that. And you go across twice on both sides. It will clip, but you won't see it on the outside. It gets hidden inside that wooden beam, uh, which works nicely. And then off the back diagonal wall here, you want to snap two more. And that gives you a nice sealed upper platform here like that. Grabbing your rope ladder, that's going to snap here. And then with the quarter walls, switch that to a railing. And that will then come across like that. 
So you've got an overlap in the middle. Which is obviously nice because you get that with the quarter ceilings. You can get those multiple snap points. Um, it leaves a little gap on the end, but nothing that you can actually physically walk through. So it would, doesn't need to really be secured properly with the railing. So I think that works well with those two there like that. So we'll start working on the interior. That's now all the that's all, all the structural part of the build done. So we can go ahead and start working on the interior pieces. First things first, I put a smithy over here. Full alignment mode, alignment mode is fine. Um, just disable the snapping. And I have it set up like that. Next we'll do a fireplace. I do have a mod. But the fireplace shape is exactly the same. So go ahead and place that. I've got it in a free place mode at the moment. Just do it until the the wall behind is no longer visible by the sort of the hologram here. So as soon as you can see it all green, you can go ahead and place it down like that. That's going to pass through the platform we placed and also out of the roof as well like that. So you get a nice a nice proper chimney with that. Again, that's exactly the same as the vanilla model. It's just it doesn't need any fuel, so you can light it without putting wood in. It just helps with these kind of videos. Now next, grab your table. Now this I do put into a free placing mode. Just helps you line it up better so it's not in the fireplace. So you can really place this however you like in this spot. Um, but I just do it around here. So it's a bit off centre to the left. Touching the fireplace a bit but it's not actually in there which is nice. And then we'll grab our mortar and pestles. We put two of these on the table. Angle those nicely so it's a bit more interesting than having them nice and neatly laid out. Now on this back wall here, we're going to put a large storage chest. And I put that in full alignment mode here, just makes it a bit easier. And that goes on the back wall like that. And next to that, we put our fermenting bin, or preserving bin, sorry. And that goes just up against that stone pillar on the left. A bit of a gap between the two. Um, but yeah, more or less up against that stone pillar is fine. Next we're going to put our forges in. Go ahead and grab those. And they just sort of go either side of this ladder here. So you can use that sort of to help as a guide. Like so. And then in this corner here, I'm going to put the cooking pots. Again, I find putting it in free placement mode helps with this a bit. Um, you just want to line it up, at least for me, so that you've got those two stones. There are two uh, stones at the bottom with the legs there, up against the wall at the back. Actually a bit close for me. Or something like that. that. Looks good in my opinion. And that gives you free access to that ladder as well, so you can still get up to the top level. And now up here, we'll put the bed in. Putting that in full alignment mode is, is good for me. Just press E if you're not happy with the snap points or the orientation. I type it that way so the pillow is up by the fireplace chimney. And then alongside this uh, platform with the bed, I'm just going to put a couple of storage boxes up here. So I like to put one up in this corner here. Like that. Again, if you can. And then one more over here too. So you've got a nice bit of storage up here in the bedroom area. Again, modded torches here, but exactly the same model and shape. It will fit exactly the same way with vanilla. You've just got to put your own fuel in it. So this one comes with it in and there already, which is great. And that's the sort of finishing touch there on the top level. And the finishing touch for the, the build as a whole. That's your full interior. You've got everything in, in here you need to sort of, for a good starter house. Um, you know, you can craft whatever you need for the early game up to sort of a, a mid-tier level before you need to move into a bigger base. Um, I think it'll do the job quite nicely. And yeah, that's it. That's the cosy cabin in the winter biome done. Uh, but you can really place it anywhere. It does, it does quite a good job wherever you put it, to be honest. Um, with that equipment layout on the inside, like I said, it's quite a good starter base. Um, and I hope you think so too when you go ahead and build this. But yeah, for now, that's it from me. If you like the video, let me know with leaving a like or a comment. 
And if you want to keep updated with future builds, uh, maybe consider subscribing as well. I really appreciate it. Um, but until next time, I'll see you later. Hope you all have a great day. And take care. I'll see you next time. Cheers.